What's up guys and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today we are playing a bit more Project Zomboy. That's right, we are doing our best here to escape the enemy, to beat the crowds of zombies, and if we can't beat them on foot, we will most definitely beat them literally. Oh good. They seem to just have magically migrated. <laughs> this is not my day, it's really not. I'm actually, I'm filming this like 10 seconds after the last episode ended, I'm doing this all in one big block. And we are just a giant magnet right now, I don't know what it is that we did. But we have just made zombie kind incredibly, incredibly upset with us. And so I think we're going to have to go to drastic measures here to kind of escape, unfortunately. We'll jump the fence right there. We're going to try and put as much ground between us and them as possible. I know we set off a house alarm last night, which was... Oh, there's our house right there. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to draw them back, so... Let's go ahead and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into here. We have to get them away from our home. This is all bad. There is no... Is there anybody behind me? Okay, good. The last thing I need is these guys just pulling an Edgar Allan Poe and just like rap tap tapping on my windows. Yeah, we can shout by pressing the Q key. And while this is normally not very pertinent, at the moment we want to draw them away from my home. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's see if we can pull them back over to here. And is this house open by any chance? Oh, it is. Good, 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 good. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can rope everybody together over here. What we're going to do is we're going to try and lose them in this house. And so they're on all sides of us. That's okay. That is all right. I mean, it's a little terrifying because if I mess this up, we're going to die. But let's see here. Oh, no. All right, so we made it. I didn't cut myself or anything though, which, that was a very, very desperate maneuver. I wouldn't recommend doing anything like that ever. I broke the window with my arm out of sheer, just, we need to get out of here now. And so, let's duck in here and hopefully they don't come find us. We're all wet from the rain anyways. We'll close the window here. We'll close the curtains. And this is a good building to get ourselves killed in, unfortunately. I'm going to keep watch out the window. They can see us just as well as I can see them. But that's part of the game, you guys. It's part of the game. The intensity of this game just blows my mind sometimes. There are moments where I play this game and I'm just like so like bored. I'm just like, eh, you know, I've done everything. Like, why worry about anything? But then there's other times, times like this, where really you have like a mission. Get these zombies away from my house. And you go to work doing it. Oh, no. So there's an extra straggler right here. Let's get rid of him. There we go. He's down. Let's cut through the forest, and we're going to see how many dudes are on our house right now. Our house is, may still be just mobbed at the moment. We're going to go through the trees a tad. Okay, our house isn't mobbed. And we never unlock the back door. God, there's so many. There are so many of them, you guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, we may have to abandon the premises, to be honest. We may not have a choice. Our cleverly concocted ruse did not work out so well. I think what I'll do in this situation, we're just going to camp out right here for now. We've got to keep ourselves out of the rain. It's one of those things that I don't like. I don't necessarily like the rain system because it punishes you for being outside and there's no way to remedy it. Like, you can't get, like, a parka or anything to fix the problem. I wonder how many are out there. Oh god. So we're going to have to remedy this, unfortunately. Even though we're already drenched, we are going to have to fix this problem. I would be tempted just to abandon the situation altogether. Just not even mess with it. Yeah. God. There's so many of them. I don't really know where all these guys came from, to be honest. I don't remember there being this many zombies when we first started out, but... It is what it is, I suppose. We're going to have to risk catching a cold and just being out in the rain, unfortunately. Let's cut around the back side of this house. Hope that there's nothing back in here. I would love to make it back to our home, but unfortunately, looks like we're out of luck, which is one of the problems with making a headquarters. We may just be completely and totally SOL. That is shit out of luck, my friends. And so let's see what we can do. I don't really want to go back to the trailer park either. I don't seem to have much luck to the northwest, unfortunately. 
One thing that I know we need right now is we need a lumber axe, like, very, very badly, so that we can chop down trees, get ourselves wood, and then build stuff out of it. Unfortunately, we haven't found one as of yet, so that's kind of a problem that we need to fix. Our chances of finding one go up as we go towards the northwest. There's, there's a lot more stuff that we can get our hands on in the city than we can here. We have the added benefit of possibly clearing out a good chunk of the trailer park of zombies with how that whole thing went before. We'll take and eat those chips so that we don't have to worry about them down the line in case we get hungry. Check the rest of these cabinets. I think I've already been here. The fact that the door's unlocked is a little bit of an indicator of that, but there are some things left. Some cigarettes in the trash. Somebody's apparently trying to get rid of their vice. Let's go ahead and snag ourselves a drink real quick. We'll fill our water bottle too, just to make sure. Some floaties in there. Ooh. Water bottle with little floaties in it. Do you take the risk? Do you do it? <laughs> get yourself a nice case of Jardia or something. That'd be fun. Then not only would we be running from zombies, we'd be running from zombies dripping from our drawers. The situation goes from bad to worse, and I think this is the building we started in. Yeah, with the strawberry seeds. Okay, so we're not in too miserable of a spot. Let me check the durability of my baseball bat for the time being. And see how that's coming along. It's only got... 30 condition left, so it, it ticks downwards. I forgot whether it ticked up or down. In the last episode, you'll see I said that it was ticking upwards or whatever. But I think it ticks down to zero. Once it gets to zero, we're going to have to find ourselves a new weapon, unfortunately. There was a kitchen knife back in that building, but the kitchen knife is terrible. You never want to rely on the kitchen knife. You can use it to assassinate zombies one by one. Oh, good, there's a horde over there. Looks like there's a respectable crowd down here. And one of them has seen me with their magical zombie vision. I do wish the character's field of view was larger. I feel like the zombies can see me from off screen, but I can't see them from off screen. And given that I'm still alive and kicking and I'm not all yellow eyed and ridiculously liver depleted, I think that I should be able to see farther than them. But maybe that's just me desiring to be a deep, deep down cheater. Just a dirty, no good cheater. I don't really know where we should head from here, to be honest. There seems to be more or less a barricade of human bodies in between us and the objective. I mean, we can continue cutting in one direction until we finally get around the horde, which is what I think I'll decide to do here. We're not really accomplishing anything, though, and that's really one of the downsides to our unfortunate circumstances that we're not doing ourselves any favors here. We'll follow this road down, I suppose. We'll pick off stragglers. Our bat is pretty much broken for the time being, so we'll knock him out. Okay. That problem solved. The bat seems to last a lot longer than the golf club. I've used the golf club on a couple of occasions, and in general, the golf club seems to break very, very quickly. It does kill zombies a lot easier from what I can tell, but he's a quick one. Let's see if we can lay him out with a couple of swings here. There we go. So he's down. Let's follow this walkway and see where it takes us. Probably to nowhere good, but we can hope. We can hope and we can dream. It's 6 o'clock, so we may want to start thinking about shelter for the evening. Looks like there's another extension of the trailer park over here. Let's see if we can find our way into what I'm going to assume is going to be a burglar-trapped mobile home. No such luck there. Check the front door real fast. Check that window, and up it goes. It's very... <sighs> it seems like they start moving before the alarm actually even goes off, to be honest. Let's get on out of here. It seems to me like everything has a burglar alarm nowadays, so... We're gonna have to be careful about our looting. They seem to have some kind of cognitive advantage as well. These seem to be the smartest, most well-guided zombies I've ever seen in my life, but... You know, you takes what you gets, unfortunately. I thought most burglar companies had swapped over to silent alarms too because those ringing alarms are usually a pretty good indicator to the burglar to shoot you in the face since the cops are coming anyways. But you know, it is what it is I suppose. My knowledge of burglar alarms is probably lacking. I don't work for Brinks or anything like that. Home security firms and all that fun stuff. Hopefully no zombies decide to make their way over here. Wait a moment and see if an alarm goes off before I crawl in here. We'll kill this straggler on this other side, and this is where we'll hole up for the night. If we have to. He's hiding in the bushes right now. He's trying to be all SOCOM style. Sneaky bugger. Let's climb through the window. We'll take our chances now while it's still light out. 
there do seem to be a lot of curtains, which is always good. So let's close up all the curtains. We lost a grip of food by losing our house to the horde, unfortunately. I did my best to draw them away, but unfortunately my best was not good enough. Hopefully we don't hear any zombies knocking on the door here. We're going to grab... I thought I heard the squeaky sound of zombies trying to get into the house. See what kind of stockpile they have going on here. Oh, yeah, they have chips. We'll grab all of those. Looks like they have some coffee on hand, too. I don't know what that's particularly useful for. Never used it before. Some dog food and some ramen noodles. We'll take those for the future. They don't have a sink. What is up with all these houses not having sinks? I figure a sink would be a fairly common fixture for most of these places, but from what I can tell, a lot of these people are living sinkless. Gives you kind of that sunken feeling. Let's go ahead and sweep the house for Zeds for now. Got a little bit of time on our hands, so we might as well do that while we have the chance. A bunch of sheets in the drawers here. The power's out. We can't turn on the lights, so we're going to have to do this in the dark, unfortunately. And I think more or less we might be... we got we got to be at least partially safe here. I'm surprised that we're not tired yet. Did I take the... who did I take? I'm playing the fire officer. So yeah, we must have gotten some pretty good sleep going on in a previous episode. Let's see if we can find a bathroom and get ourselves fixed up with a little bit of liquid here. I think that's the last thing we had to check anyways. We'll check here for ooh, a band-aid. I don't know what that's good for, but we can definitely check it out. We're over encumbered. That must have been a heavy band-aid. It's one of the newer models. Terrible utility. So our bat is at 20%. It's about to break. Let's go ahead and store all of our chips, ramen noodles, and our dog food. We've got more than enough stuff on hand to keep ourselves fed. For now, I think over the next day or so, we're going to try and find ourselves maybe a new... Yeah, we'll go ahead and eat the canned soup real fast. That should give us a nice little jolt of caloric intake. There we are. And so we're good there. We should get sleepy pretty soon, too. Go ahead and shut all the doors. I don't hear any tapping, so I think we're going to be all right. Let's go ahead and pass a little bit of time here until we get drowsy. I'm going to try and reset my character's sleep habits because she does not appear to get tired very easily. We're going to wait till the next iteration of tiredness. There we go. Actually, we'll just sleep now. It's fine. Being out and around at night, that was a learning experience for me. I haven't been out and around at night since the earlier builds, and that was quite a bit more dangerous in the last episode. It was terrifying. I didn't even really know what to do with myself there. Let's get ourselves another drink from the sink here, fill our water bottle up, and then we will be off. So there we go. Maybe check the fridge one more time. I don't remember if there's anything good in the fridge, but we should probably eat here before we take off. Nothing in the fridge. I think we looted everything, so let's go to our inventory real fast. Get ourselves... Oh, I don't know. We'll grab this guy out of here. Actually... Let's just eat the peanut butter real quick. That should get us going for the rest of the day. What's our weight looking like? 6 out of 10. Our weight carrying capacity is up. I almost said that we leveled it, but no, we didn't level up our weight carrying capacity. Oh, there's stuff over here. Carpentry for beginners. What does that do? And how long is that going to take? God, look at us right now. Let's save that for later. We're just going to stow that in a bag. I think it's probably going to level up our carpentry, which is a pretty good plan. It's raining outdoors right now, which kind of spurs our need to get back indoors and scavenging. Luckily, there seems to be enough domiciles around here. Oh, never mind. The rain's going to break off. Good for you, rain. Good upon you. Thank you for allowing me to go through this not drenched. Oh, there's that right there. Let's get the hell out of here. Every single house. I tell you what. I tell you what, my friends. Every single house seems to have a fairly reasonable supply. This... Whoever runs this area, like, whoever is in charge of the security company that runs this block must be one of the wealthiest mofos on Earth. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hide behind this building and just let them all kind of wander that way. I don't think we're going to see a lot of zombies, to be honest, because they were all drawn back to that previous location. Knock him down real quick and kill him. Our bat is about to break, though. So this may turn into a running operation. I need to figure out a way to get past these burglar alarms. These things are ridiculous. I don't know if there's a way to deactivate them or anything like that. But it is something to consider, my friends. Take her out with one swing here. Is this the house that I came from? I don't think it is. Oh, God. 
Okay, zombies are in my house. Great. No shelter if you're looking for shade. That is the general theme of this game, as I can tell. Let's see if we can get a window open here. Oh, good. They're not de aggroed yet. Funsies! Funsies for Splattercat. Please let me into your home. Do not leave me out here with the shambling hordes. Please allow me to burgle you. I wonder if that little thing right there is the alarm. I can't really tell. I don't know what the burglar alarm looks like. I've noticed burglar alarms maybe once or twice before where they're like little scanny things. On the plus side, this neighbor should, should be more or less safe. Unless we set off another burglar alarm, which is always a possibility. And in we go. Let's hold our breath here. And hope for no counter intrusion measures. Eat the carrots real fast. And eat the cabbages real fast. There we go. Just eat everything we can get our hands on. Awesome. The watermelons are too heavy, so I'm not going to carry them with me. Check this room for any type of weaponry, which is my primary concern right now. I'm really worried about our weapon situation. Fortunately, the game doesn't look like it's going to help us out in that regard. So I think we're going to have to keep moving. We're going to have to stay on the road until we find ourselves another bludgeoning object. How are we looking on XP at the moment? Got to be leveling something up. Our sprinting's doing pretty well. Yeah, I bet. We've done a lot of running lately. There's been a, there's been a whole lot of running and not a whole lot of stand your ground as of recently. Check this house down here. God, I am just terrified of... This game has taught me to just be horrified by burglar alarms. It looks like there's going to be too many zombies down here for us to get anything. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll just avoid this entire area altogether. Heading out into the wilderness is one of those things that I think it might be a good idea. But realistically, trying to be pragmatic, I don't think we can find enough food out there. Is that a rubber room? Looks like a house for crazies. Terrible designing sense. What were these people thinking? See if we can get a, all kinds of noise driven up here before the lights go out. We want to only be at safe spots from now on, I think. There we go. So that window's open now. I'm going to try and remain sparse. Or at least make myself scarce. Please don't go off alarm. Alarm? Good. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's check all these bookshelves for anything that might be useful. Because apparently there's skill books in the game now, which is something that I had no clue about. I don't think there's going to be any lootables over here. Check that for anything. There's some bread, some cabbage. How's our weight situation looking like? Let's take a look. Seven out of eight. Is there anything I could potentially stow away? A mug of water. We can get rid of that. Let's get rid of that mug of water. That's actually going to free up a little bit of space. We'll drink out of the faucet for now. Let's look for any type of object we can hit things with. A rolling pin may be our only option for the future, unfortunately. I'll eat that bag of chips out of there. Can opener. A frying pan. We can use that as a weapon, although it's not really my favorite option. God. Ooh, I can't see. Transparency is not working. Great. There's just a vest in here. And in this one? Ah, another bat. There we go. So let's go ahead and I'm actually going to drop the craptastic bat that we have on hand. Let's get rid of it. We don't need it clogging up our weight anyways. And then we'll take this one. So let's grab it. And then I could have equipped it right there automatically, but what we'll do is we'll just equip it through here as our primary weapon. All right, good to go. Good to go. And so our mission for the day of arming ourselves and making sure that we're prepared for anything that might come after us has actually turned out to our advantage. I'm going to unlock these doors. So let's do that before we go any further. And we'll check this house across the road before we run out of time here for the day. But this will make a nice little reasonable fallback zone. Although the bed, there's no roof on it, so I think the bed might be in the rain. We may actually find ourselves in a buggy situation there. Maybe the roof burned out. I'll assign it some kind of context within the confines of storyline. 
These people have a rather fabulous dirt road going to their house, or it's tan bark. Trying to keep up with the Joneses with their crafty tan bark lawns. The Joneses, I don't think we have to worry about the Joneses anymore now that, oh god. It's a little unnerving how every time I walk around a corner there's like 3,000 of these little buggers. That house doesn't look to be, to be incredibly lootable anyways. So let's just head to the northwest, whatever. We'll just try and juke as many as possible. Level up our sprinting a tad. And anything we see along the way, we must be making noise as we run. Because they seem pretty interested with us. That house is already infested, so I don't really want to be here. We've got a couple hours until evening rolls in. So we might consider doing... Well, this looks like some kind of storage facility. I can almost guarantee you it's going to be burgle-proof. Because this is a business. Oh, maybe not. Let's see if anybody's following us out the windows real quick before I get myself knee-deep in this entire debacle. So let's take a look and see if there's any way to get into these things. Looks like we've got some doors, and it sounds like there's things behind it. Couple zombies over here. Swing a little wide and see. Alright, so I'm not so enthused about the prospects of this place. There are just ridiculous amounts of the undead everywhere. I was to, I, rem I don't remember there being this many zombies in previous versions, to be honest. I Maybe I'm just playing a neutered version of the game in 2.0, 2.5, but I remember that kind of ramped up over time. As it stands now, it seems like we've got a hefty helping of all these guys. Let's go ahead and jump this fence right here since they've already seen us anyways. We'll head off into the boonies over here. Nope, not that way. God. Wait and see if an alarm goes off here. No alarm that I can tell as of yet. Ugh. Oh god. Alright, so never mind. Let's get on and up out of here. It's weird that you swing a baseball bat one time and it exhausts you. I, I'm gonna strike it off to malnutrition just in the interest of not being nitpicky, but I'm pretty sure I could swing a bat more than once or twice, having been a baseball player for quite some time. I mean, maybe it's because it's like a hefty, like, ridiculous redwood bat or something. I don't know. Lovely garden spattered with red rubies over here. Keep ourselves moving. Ducking through cover, as is necessary. Prefer to cut through a house at some point, but... So far, the game isn't giving me a whole lot of options to disengage. And, is it just me, or do these guys seem to be getting faster? Looks like we're in the city now. Things are looking a bit more... Stucco and plywood, if I do say so. Hey, a fatty burger or something. I don't know what they're called, but it's like a raccoon burger or something like that. I forget the name of the fast food place that was always advertising in this game. It's 4.30. It means at some point we're going to need to find ourselves shelter. I may start cutting back out of town, if at all possible at this point. God. This is how we do it, my friends. This is how you stir up a swath of the undead. A swath, as I put it. Let's give ourselves a little foot rest here. Keep on moving. I don't see anywhere that I can duck into. Oh my god, there are so many. How would you even conceivably... Even moving stealthily, I just don't see any way that you're going to be able to pull that off. Let's go ahead and slow down a little bit here because I think we're going to lose a lot of them in the trees there. Hope for no burglar alarm as we go in here close that window so that we don't have any intruders. This is the last thing I want to do is have to hide my kids at this point. Hide the kids and the wife. Get some salmon. I'm not going to eat that. Let's go ahead and consider finding some sheets and boarding this place up. I don't hear the sound of intrusion as of yet, so we may have shook them. Some cereal, a lighter, and another tote bag. You'll forgive me for just a moment. I'm going to turn off the music real fast. Sometimes the music gets in the way of actually being able to survive. 
Ooh, we got a sheet here. Let's grab that sheet. Then what we'll do is we'll add a sheet to that window. It seems like I'm gonna have to sleep with zombies right outside the house for now because it is getting too dark for us to actually be able to do anything. Also, if there's a light switch here, I'd prefer to turn it off. I don't know if the light radius is just kind of the result of me walking through or if there actually is a light radius here, but you got to be kidding. So we need to listen for just a moment. Those gunshots are really going to potentially be a problem for us. Yep, they're banging on the house. Damn. See if we can scatter out the back for now. I don't really like the random events. The random events seem to only draw zombies towards you. And what I mean is like the gunshot goes off in the distance, but you saw like right there, those zombies instantaneously attacked the house we were in. I don't find that to be really a replication of how they would be drawn away they would not be focusing on the house. The gunshot was clearly outside. It was very clearly outside. And so the zombies all seem to have some kind of ridiculous sixth sense as to where I am every single time that makes this whole ordeal a little bit tragic. Let's see if I can get into the house here or at least set off an alarm maybe. Got a runner on us right here. There's no way to cancel a swing as far as I know. If you guys know how to cancel a swing, please let me know because I have no clue. It's going to get dark again, unfortunately. We're going to have to live with that. I think I'm just never going to come back to the city ever again. The city just seems to be a giant mess. Just a good way to get yourself offed. There's a big old crowd down there. As it gets darker, we should get safer. And I say that every day, but we never get safer. We never get safer. It just gets worse. Now, presuming that we can get into a house without setting off an alarm, we should be able to be safe for the evening. If I can find a window here. Mm, unfortunate. Alright, so that's one down. Take a look here. Alright, so that one's down too. We're going to be in trouble if we set off an alarm right now, unfortunately. We do want to keep an eye out, though. This location does seem to be suitably dark. Step back for just a moment. Alright, let's do it. If there's no burglar alarm, I think we're good for the day. Alright, I think we're safe. Let's check the house for zombies. It's pretty dark. I don't want to turn on any lights because it'll attract them to us. Eat some bread real fast. Anything we can get into our systems on the road. And, God, we're a little bit drowsy. Let's close the curtains to the room we're going to be sleeping in, if it'll let me. There we go. There's another sheet here. We'll grab that just in case. We'll close this door right here, and we should more or less be safe in this room. I think this is probably a great spot to break off this episode. It's been another intense survival-filled day. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to find many of the necessities we need to start building a base out in the middle of nowhere and running supplies back and forth, which is usually how I play the game. I try to find a fire axe, and once we have a fire axe, I can actually chop lumber, and we can start building a base from scratch. We can actually build our own house out in the middle of nowhere, and then we can just start running things back and forth between the two locations, trying to get ourselves a nice stockpile going. That out of the way, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in this, another intense episode of Project Zomboid. I hope you choose to check the game out, and I hope that I've been suitably entertaining, although slightly over-talkative and under-breathed, unfortunately. This game has the tendency to make me very, very nervous and very uppity, and it definitely makes me need to mop my brow. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.